Just imagine being able to leap several times your own body length, see the world in vibrant colors humans can't even detect, and hunt like a tiny eight-legged ninja without using a single strand of web to trap your prey. Sounds like a superhero origin story, right? Well, it's just an average Tuesday for one of nature's most surprising little predators, the jumping spider. Let's get right into it. Jumping spiders belong to the family Satisidae, the largest spider family in the entire world. And when I say largest, I'm talking about the sheer diversity, not size. Scientists have described over 6,000 different species so far, and new ones are still being discovered in remote corners of the globe. They've adapted to nearly every environment where insect life is possible. If it's warm enough for bugs, there's probably a jumping spider nearby, quietly minding its own business or actively hunting. You'll find them in dense tropical rainforests where they hop from leaf to leaf in search of flies. They also thrive in scorching deserts where their compact bodies help them retain moisture and their sharp eyes let them spot prey on the hot sand. Some even live high in mountainous regions, while others make themselves perfectly at home in your backyard gardens, sitting patiently on a flower petal until an unsuspecting bee or moth comes close. Unlike the stereotypical image of a spider hanging upside down in its web, waiting for something to blunder into it, jumping spiders take a completely different approach to life. They are active hunters, no sticky traps, no pass awaiting. Instead, they rely on a blend of stealth, explosion of speed, and pinpoint accuracy to capture their prey. Their bodies are usually small, often less than an inch long, but don't let their size fool you. They're built like miniature athletes. Their muscular legs, lightweight exoskeletons, and specialized internal systems all work together to give them some of the most impressive mobility in the arachnid world. But what really sets them apart and makes them incredibly endearing to most people is their face. If you've ever had a chance to look closely at a jumping spider, you've probably noticed those oversized forward-facing eyes. It's almost like nature took a regular spider, gave it a Pixar makeover, and then made it a predator. Those eyes aren't just for cuteness points. They're part of the most advanced visual systems in the invertebrate kingdom. Jumping spiders, of course, have eight eyes, a range in a way that gives them both ultra-clear forward vision and nearly panoramic coverage. The most important ones are the interior median eyes, the huge central pair at the very front of the head. Think of these as high-definition telephoto lenses. While most spiders are practically blind and rely on heavy vibrations and touch, jumping spiders can see the world in remarkable detail. In fact, their eyesight is among the best of any insect, rivaling insects known for their vision, like dragonflies. They can judge distances precisely, perceive death, and even detect ultraviolet light, something humans can't do without special equipment. Surrounding those massive main eyes are smaller secondary eyes, which act like motion detectors. Together, they give the spider a 360 degree awareness of its surroundings. Even the tiniest flicker of movement can trigger them to turn their body for a closer inspection. And here's the wild part. The retinas inside those big front eyes can actually move around without the spider having to move its head. Imagine your own pupils could independently scan left and right, zooming in on objects like camera lenses. This is why when you wave a finger near a jumping spider, it seems to track you like a curious little animal because it really is watching you and analyzing your movements. Okay, the jumping in their name is no exaggeration. These spiders can leap up to 50 times their own body length. For a human, that's the equivalent of jumping across an entire football field in one go. And they don't even need to run first, they can launch from a standstill. You might assume they accomplish this with massive leg muscles like the grasshopper or a frog, but the truth is even cooler. Jumping spiders use hydraulic pressure to power their leaps. They rapidly increase the pressure of the fluid inside their legs, causing them to expand explosively. This hydraulic boost gives them an insane acceleration in a fraction of a second, but they're not reckless daredevils. Before making a jump, they attach a thin silk safety line to their starting point, effectively creating their own personal bungee cord. If they miss their target, which doesn't happen often, they can simply climb back up the silk without falling to their doom. That same silk is used to build small tent-like shelters called silken retreats, where they hide from predators, rest during bad weather, or sleep at night. It's not for catching prey like other spider webs. It's more like a multi-purpose safety rope and portable home. Jumping spiders are daytime hunters, relying on their vision and agility to spot prey from several inches away, which in their world is a considerable distance. Their hunting style is surprisingly similar to big cats. They stalk, they observe, and when the moment is right, they pounce. They're opportunistic feeders, taking anything they can overpower. Flies, moths, mosquitoes, other spiders, and even small crickets. For an animal that can easily sit on your fingernail, the jumping spider's brain is a masterpiece of biological efficiency. It's roughly the size of a poppy seed, yet it controls a body with eight legs, an advanced hydraulic jumping system, a complex visual network, and hunting strategies that rival those of much larger predators. What's incredible is how much they can manage to do with so little. Most spiders are instinct-driven. 
They operate almost entirely on a hardwired behaviors. Jumping spiders, however, show clear signs of flexible thinking. This means they can alter their approach based on what's happening at the moment, not just repeat a pre-programmed script. Jumping spiders also have excellent short-term memory. If they spot prey and it disappears behind a leaf, they'll often move to another vantage point, as if calculating the best way to reappear where the prey can be ambushed. It's almost like watching a tiny nature documentary about a leopard circling around its prey, except the leopard is only 6 millimeters long and covered in adorable fuzzy hairs. Their awareness of danger is equally remarkable. A sudden movement or a faint shadow cast by a bird overhead can trigger an immediate evasive leap or dash into cover. Their reaction time is lightning fast thanks to a network of secondary eyes that continuously monitor for motion from nearly every angle. And some species even appear to recognize potential threats based on prior encounters. If they've been harassed by a larger predator, they may keep their distance the next time they spot something with a similar shape or movement pattern. While we can't say for sure they remember in the same way humans do, that behavior suggests a form of learned caution. So yeah, even if spiders make you a bit uneasy, jumping spiders are the type you want around. They're ferocious predators of insect pests, including mosquitoes, moths, and flies. And here's the good news for arachnophobes. They're generally harmless to humans. Their fangs are tiny, and their venom is mild. Bites are extremely rare and only occur if the spider feels trapped or threatened. Most of the time, they rather jump away from you than engage in any type of confrontation. So, with all of this, the next time you see a tiny spider with big curious eyes watching you from the edge of a leaf or your windowsill, you might be looking at one of nature's most impressive little hunters. From their superpowered vision to their Olympics level jumping skills, jumping spiders are living proof that big things can come in very small packages. As always, thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed.